Hey guys, this is Eric. Uh, in this video, I want to walk through uh, how to do some keyword research, or at least how I do keyword keyword research. Um, how to find low CPCs to get some, you know, start promoting your products. Um, so to start this off, uh, I'm going to use a product off of uh, ClickBank. It's the middle of January. Uh, everybody's in weight loss, so I figured I would check out the health and weight loss section. Uh, what I see right here, this one look, is this uh, Red Detox. I'm going to try this, uh, market this one, see how it, t or at least show you guys how I would market this one. So um, the grab on this is 235, rebuild is 75%. Uh, so it looks, it's pretty good. Average sales 73%. So that's not too bad. Um, you're getting 25 bucks a piece. So that's pretty good. Um, let's check out their website. So we click through. I think I got a little video. Usually what I look for is if they got affiliates at the bottom, and I try to check that out and see what they got in there. And they do, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, I like when they have that kind of stuff. Um, kind of look through, they said uh, paid out $543,000. they have got 96 affiliate, 965 affiliate members. So this looks like a pretty high quality one, so we're going to go with this. So. So what is this? This is weight loss experts. So it looks like a red tea. It's a detox program. So first thing I think comes to mind is a juicing detox. So when I start key, keyword research, the first thing I do is uh, I like to use Moz. If you go to moz.com um, and you click on their free SEO tools right here in the corner, you'll see it right there. You can type in a free SEO term. So this is a detox. We're researching a detox. So the first thing that comes to my mind, I'm going to try juicing detox. You can see it popped in there because I kind of did it before. So if you hit try free. Okay, so this is going to give you analysis on juicing detox. So it's telling you right now that the monthly volume is 500 to 800. Difficulty level, which is it's the score um, that estimates how difficult it is for you to rank higher than current competitors. Um, a low, you know, low a low difficulty is good. 100% TTR. What that means is estimated percentage of clicks available, traditional organic links, and things like that. Basically, just it's it's good. It's 64 priority. Um, it's a good it's a good number. Higher priority represents a sweet spot. A higher volume organic CTR. Essentially, what this all means is it's it's a pretty it's a decent keyword. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go in here. We want to look. We want to kind of drill that down a little bit. So let's look at keyword suggestions. So we started with juicing detox. So next thing you want to go over here to the left is hit keywords suggestions. And what it's going to do is if you it's going to bring up um, keyword suggestions based on juicing detox. It's different um, uh, combinations of that. And what you want to do is if you click on see look at this monthly volume, you can select that and it'll start from high to low. So. Juice Cleanse has about eleven to 30,000, Juicer, and then down from there. And what you're going to want to do is you want to sort this list down a little bit. Because if you use these top ones, there's probably a lot. There's, you can see there's kind of a, there's probably more competition in here. Your, your CPCs are probably going to be more. So um, what I like to do is if you go up, look up here at Volume, you see a volume right here. You can sort this list out by Volume. And normally what I'm looking for is 3,000 and under right around there. If you're looking at a range from zero to three thousand for the keywords I use, now, it's usually that. It's usually kind of a lower volume. The CPCs are a little cheaper, and, and you can kind of get away with it. So if you hit apply, so now we're drilling down. So we start with juicing detox, and these are kind of relative to a juicing detox. So there's one thousand to three thousand. So I'm gonna take that one, uh, eighty-five hundred to seventeen. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably take everything. Let's see here. I'm gonna pick everything down. Everything five to eight hundred. Eh, so what's that about ten? So I'm gonna take these top ten right here. So um, if you want to sign up for a pro account, you could you can export these to a list. They have this little option. This is export to a keyword list. But if you click on it right now, you have to have a pro account. So what is what I do is I just select the ones I want, and I just pull in a notepad and I copy these in. So you just type them over. And I got eight, nine, eight or nine of them. Uh, keep them to a notepad. And then there's there's your kind of keywords to start with. That's your list to start with. So next, let's move into AdWords. And what we're going to do in AdWords is we're going to go to Keyword Planner. And to get to Keyword Planner, you want to kick this little uh, wrench up here, hit Keyword Planner. Now, if you don't have an AdWords account, it's free to start. I highly recommend getting one because you're going to need one to build your ads with. So, so now we're inside a Keyword Planner. And then what we're trying to do is we want to figure out with these keywords that we just, this our little keyword list here, how much those are going to cost us. So let's go to plan your budget 
and get forecast and it says right here you can upload your list so if you click on that and scroll down just a little bit so you can see it so right in here you're going to type in your list so what you're going to do is copy your list that we just made you're going to right click and paste those in there so these are the keywords we want to check now what do we want to check them with against so we can now right here you can dial in your location which i'm pretty much I usually go US just depending on what it is, but I think for this I'm just going to check all locations. Um, languages, we're going to want English on that, so let's type in English. And there's English. And you can start kind of narrowing down. Oop. Actually, I got to get in there. English. If I could type today. English. And save. Okay, so we got all locations, English, and eh, we're going to target Google. Negative keywords we don't have any yet. You can just select a date range. Uh, I'm just going to check the next seven days just to get an idea of what they are. And then that'll give you a seven-day range of what the CPC expects it to be. So let's hit Get Forecasts. And we're loading. Okay. So we don't have a button, so what we want to do now, so what it looks like it did is Juice Diet looks to be the one, and then here's all the keywords. This is your ad group, and this is a search file, and these are all the keywords that we typed in here at the bottom. Now we don't have a CPC yet, so we're going to put it in here, and what it's showing you now without putting any input or telling them what the budget is, it's telling you a rough estimate of what the CPCs are, so it doesn't look too bad. So what you want to do is, I usually start with $5 a day, so if you type in your daily budget of $5 a day, now it's gonna add, it's gonna show us what how much that will get us. So it looks like the sweet spot is right around 20, eh, CPC about 20. So five dollars a day at, at a CPC of 20 cents is gonna get us around 470 to 575 impressions. Costs about five dollars and it's gonna keep us in that. Eh, it looks like about the third position, which is pretty good for us. So. Those are pretty decent keywords because you can see here we're on an average our CPC is going to be 15 cents. We're going to average the third position. That's a pretty good start. Click through for, click through rate on they're, they're estimating it'll be 6.3 percent. Pretty good stuff. So that's basically that's how I find my keywords. That's how you kind of drill them down. Now you can keep going. This will give you an, if you just slide this bar, it's going to show you more. It'll re, it'll keep re-estimating. Um, so, you know, the less the CPU, you know, obviously if you want to pay more, you may get more clicks out of it, but it may not be as good as stuff. So, um, you know, play with the bar, but this is, this gives you a good, good idea of where you need to be. And then what you can do with that is when you go to plan out your, um, your ad spend, you know, you can put in your bid. So right now it's telling me if I want to stay there, that, that sweet spot's right around 20 cents. So, uh, enter a bid of 20 cents. Uh, I've got a $5 daily budget which just means it's not going to go past five dollars and this is what it's going to end up with i've got decent impressions uh i'm an average about third position in the ads so that's pretty good that's not bad we should get some we should get a pretty good turnaround on that so from here you would just take your keywords and this is what we would use to set up your ad campaign so um that's how i find keywords um this is kind of a quick and easy video i hope this helped you guys out um by all means post questions below and um i hope i can help you out some more thanks guys